Let's talk about Josh Allen. The four TDs, three through the air, and then one incredible one on the ground. But maybe most importantly from Josh Allen, Luke, uh, no turnovers. He yes. really controlled this game. He did. And I love the way he played. He didn't do anything too crazy. You know, he made great throws. But we always talk about him playing hero ball. And there's that argument, oh, this is the way he plays. Yeah. I think this was a prime example of how he doesn't have to do that. He needs to trust his weapons, make the throws that are there. He read this defense incredibly well. We talked about the Kincaid touchdown, the Dawson Knox touchdown to start the game. And when he needed to, he used his legs and he was dominant. But again, there wasn't any throws or plays that I thought were wildly risky that he made today. Mm -hmm. And that's why they led wire to wire. And I understand that the Steelers made a game of it. Yeah. I can, I, you know, I can wrap my head around that because yeah. the Steelers are a playoff football team. Yeah. They're not just going to quit. Josh Allen dominated this game. He controlled the game. There was never really a doubt, in my opinion, that the Bills were not going to win this game. They almost missed the cover, yeah. but they were going to win. <laughs> well, so you said you understand that the game got close, but were you surprised when it started to get a little bit close? Not really to me, and I don't put any of this on Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. the, the field goal situation with the, the block and, the, yes. and then the shank later, that was a bit bizarre. So that obviously hurt them. But what really was tough for the Bills is on defense, they are so banged up, and they yeah. lost another two DBs today, yeah. another two uh, – backers and you look at this what do you want them to do what do you want them to do on defense when you're depleted like that you can't really play man consistently so what I thought happened was they sat in a zone they kept everything underneath they they really allowed very minimal big plays yeah. and Mason Rudolph just kind of slowly marched down the field but the Bills could play that way yeah. because they had such a big lead that's right so again this was part of the chess game that I think Sean McDermott was playing they need to get healthy on defense for next week so, again, I, I look at the X and O's this game, Jay, and to me, the Bills played extremely well on both sides of the ball. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. That's Mike Tomlin. Uh, Mike Tomlin, year to go on his deal. If you're Mike Tomlin, let's look at it from, from the yeah. Tomlin perspective. Do you want to keep coaching this Steelers team, knowing that there's probably a lot of other teams out there that would love to have you, maybe even the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, I, I understand that. But if I'm Mike Tomlin, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to free agency. I'm getting Kirk Cousins. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting okay. Kirk Cousins in free agency, getting myself a quarterback that can utilize Pickens, that can utilize Deontay Johnson, Fryermuth consistently. And the defense is very, very good. Imagine this team with an elite, or at least I know everyone doesn't like Kirk Cousins, but in my opinion, he's an elite quarterback in this league. Yeah. And, and now all of a sudden, this team is, I mean, right there at the top. Again, right. they don't need to have the most electric offense. They're a hard-nosed, run-the-football style team. And I really do believe they have a lot of talent on defense. So they need to get a little better in their pass coverage. I think they need a quarterback. They can potentially get one for agency. And Mike Tomlin will be right back here, and they'll be a juggernaut next okay, season. Okay, I like that. I like that attitude. Your initial thoughts on the Chiefs-Bills Sunday. And this one, Luke, is in Buffalo. Yeah, I mean, that'll help Buffalo. My question is, how healthy will the defense be? Again, I feel for Buffalo, but the defense physically is hanging by a thread. Yeah. Who is going to play on the back end? I'm not sure. Uh, that's the major concern for the Bills.